the scoring and leadership of LeBron James, the best player in all of basketball, played a crucial role in the Lakers' victory. Now, Shannon, I have a feeling you're smiling over there. Is Magic overstating LeBron's value? No. Um, because I don't believe there's anybody that's currently playing in sports that impacts winning and losing more than LeBron James. And if you look at what he's done over the last 10... I mean, Skip, he's been to the finals 10 times, okay? He's gone to the finals every season, nine seasons, every season that he's been healthy. With the exception of his last, his first year in L.A., he had gone to the finals. Everywhere he goes, instant championship. If you remember, Skip, when he joined the Heat, the Heat hadn't won a playoff series since they won the title in 2006. Mm. He leaves, they go to... Oh, let me... Before I go to that. Mm. He leaves the Cavaliers. Not only after he leaves the Cavaliers, they get the number one overall draft pick in Kyrie Irving. They get the number one overall draft pick in Andrew Wiggins. The number one overall draft pick in, in uh, Anthony Bennett. That's what happened when he left Cleveland. They were in shambles. The second worst record in the NBA when LeBron left. He goes to Miami, who hadn't won a playoff series since they won the championship in 2006. What do they do? Four straight finals, two uh, uh, championships. He goes back to the Cavaliers. If you don't, if you remember, Skip, uh, <clears throat> I think, the Cal I think uh, Miami was in the lottery, but we talk about that a little late. Goes back to the Cavaliers. Four straight finals. Wins, wins the finals. He goes, what did he do when they leave? The Cavaliers look at him now. In the lottery every year. He goes to the Lakers, playing well, gets injured, nothing happens. Mm. Next year, championship. So I agree with Magic. Skip, is he as overpowering game in and game out, possession in, possession out as he once was? No. He can still dominate you. Don't get it twisted. His IQ is off the charts. If you watch the game the other night, Skip, he pick and choose. He's like, you know what? AD them doing well. Drum them doing well. Oh, now y'all really need me to insert myself. Okay? Mm -hmm. Insert here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Ball game's over. Mm -hmm. So I agree with Magic Johnson. No one impacts winning and losing. And, and, and this is 18th year for LeBron James. He's had three team, all NBA teammates. Anthony Davis is his only one. First team all NBA. D Wade won, made one third team. Two second teams. Kyrie made a third team. I think it's first or second year there with uh with LeBron. In reference, Tom Brady has had 17 first team all pro teammates. Five of them have been on offense. Gronk, Randy Moss, Wes Welker, Logan Mankins, and, and, and Matt Light. 12 on defense. I thought de and defense is how you win championships. So nobody impacts winning and losing currently playing in sports like the six foot nine kid from Akron, Ohio. Mm. I defy anybody to find me one that can do it. Mm. Is it my turn? It's your turn. I'm just glad we have a roof over our heads or God would have struck you with lightning for what you just said because it was pure blasphemy. It was heresy. It was so out of bounds that I, I'm embarrassed that we're doing this topic the we're in the direction you took it. You just said that LeBron James is more valuable to his team than Tom Brady is to his team. Yes. Correct? Yes, that's what I said. What part about that did you hear? Okay, I'm going to start from the start with Magic. I love Magic Johnson. I rank him the second greatest basketball player ever to Michael Jeffrey Jordan. But obviously, his GM reign ended badly with the Lakers, and ever since, he has been trying to preach back to the Laker Nation choir because he loves to be loved and he wants to re-ingratiate himself as the number one Laker ambassador. And the quickest way to do that is to tweet greatness about LeBron James because that's the quickest way to win back Laker Nation. Mag Magic place in Laker lore is secure. He ain't got, he can say whatever he can say to Lakers, terrible for the next 50 years. Magic okay. Johnson is secure. Did it not end badly when he was the GM? Well, did, yeah, did I, it, didn't it didn't end bitterly? Yes, it did. He did Jeannie a favor. Mm-hmm. To give the Lakers credibility, he said she asked her good friend Magic, because they're very close in age, Skip. They basically grew up together. Can you come do me this solid? He did that solid. But, Skip, that's not in Magic's heart. Magic okay. is a businessman. He want to do our things I, outside of basketball. I got you, but it did end badly, and ever since, he's been on Twitter trying to say, ain't we great? And I love that about him, because that's how his heart is. Let me ask you a question. He bleeds purple and Do gold. you believe LeBron would have come to the Lakers if Magic Johnson hadn't been the GM at the time? 
I don't know that. I mean, the Lakers are an institution that that supersedes even Magic Johnson. So uh, the sun out here in the West Coast, it, it it's with the Jim? sun, not, not because of Magic. It's just like God was good. So right? he was coming with Jim Buss and Mitch Kupchak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it, it, again, the Lakers are the Lakers, and living in L.A. is, as you well know, living in L.A. Jim Buss, the one that signed uh, Lou Aldang, that signed Timothy Mosbegon. Mm -hmm. And, and stop. Hollywood is Hollywood. And Michael B. Jordan is Michael B. Jordan, right? And mm -hmm. you, you pursue that path also, and he's pursuing both at the same time and doing famously. So I give you all of the above. Just the other day on the show, we went back and forth about who's the most valuable Laker, not not sports. Oh, no, just you, Laker. you went back and forth. Yeah. I ain't, nobody, I ain't okay. going back and forth well, with you. Uh, it, I'm just playing off what LeBron said. We go as AD goes. When he comes back and he's AD, then we'll be the Lakers again. Well, that, that indicated to me that LeBron says he's a little more valuable than I am at my stage can, and can age. Can you ask me a question? Can you ask me this? Mm -hmm. Where has LeBron been in which his team has not at least made it to the finals? Mm. Name, the, name the team that he's okay. played on. All right, I'm about to name lots okay. of teams. Okay, so on Sunday at Phoenix, there's no Chris Paul. Monty Williams had to pull Chris Paul and barely play him in the second half because, as Monty said, he couldn't even run. He couldn't pass the ball with his right hand the, the way he usually does. So he was a complete liability on offense. So it's complete advantage Lakers. And everybody chipped in. Everybody had a good game. You were raving yesterday about Schroeder. Was Schroeder not? Was, yeah. Uh, is that possibly yeah. the best game he's played yeah. as a Laker? Yeah. Oh, okay. you're talking about Tuesday night's game. Tuesday yeah. night's game. Okay, well, well, he was really good the other day. He scored 24 on yeah. Sunday, yeah. right? No. Okay. Tuesday. That, huh? Last Tuesday night. Okay. 24 he scored Sunday. Schroeder. Okay. Sunday. Sunday, right? No, Tuesday. Sunday what? they lost. Okay. No, they, they just won. They just won Tuesday. The day is Thursday. Okay. What, That's what, the what game you're talking oh, about. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, Tuesday. Yeah, okay. Tuesday so they yeah. lost on, oh, but, but, but Schroeder scored 24 in the last game. Yes, what I'm yes, Tuesday, about. yes, yes. Okay, and you're raving about Big Penguin. He, he goes 15 and 12. Yeah. Did that help? Drum dog uh, millionaire. And, and how about the most valuable Laker? Uh, AD goes 34 <laughs> and 10. Was, was that not good? Yeah, it And was in great. the fourth quarter, AD scores 14 and LeBron scores five. And Magic's tweeting, the scoring and leadership of LeBron James, the best player in all of basketball, played a crucial role in the Lakers' victory. Well, he played his part, but I've seen LeBron play a lot better than that. Of course, right? but Skip, it's not so much how much you score, it's when you score. Okay. Those buckets, that, that three-pointer in the corner, mm -hmm. that turnaround jumper was huge. It, okay. It, it, calm it down. Okay. So let, let's go now to your big picture statement that you said LeBron is the most valuable player in all of sports. Oh. Okay. LeBron James in the finals, the last time I checked, is four and six. Yes. He's lost six times okay. in the yes. finals, and he should be three and seven if not for Ray Allen making the greatest clutch shot I have ever seen to save his legacy right. in the 2013 NBA finals. Okay. And meanwhile, Tom Brady is seven and three in Super Bowls and should be nine and one, except that Bill Belichick obviously cost him two See? because in the first Giants Super Bowl, Tom Brady did what he always did. Game winning drive, two minutes to go, up 14 to 10. And here came Eli against Belichick's defense and goes 75 yards for the game winning touchdown and erased what should have been a Tom Brady Super Bowl victory. Uh -huh. And then Against Philadelphia, Tom Brady goes out and throws for an all-time playoff record, 505, and puts up 33 points. And Belichick's defense gives up 41 to the backup Philadelphia quarterback mm -hmm. because Malcolm Butler is mysteriously doghoused. It felt sabotage to mm -hmm. me. But, again, it cost Tom Brady being 9-1 and one in Super but Bowls. Skip, but, see, you can't say it cost him because there are games that he could have easily lost. He could have easily lost that first Super Bowl. He could have easily lost to the Eagles. He could have easily but, lost but he, to... He had game-winning drives in, in his no, no, first Vinatieri. six What about Vinatieri? So what okay. does Vinatieri play? Did okay. he save his bacon? Well, he's, he'll be in the Hall of Fame. Yes. He just retired yesterday. Yeah. Okay, I got it. But everyone was a game-winning drive set up by Tom Brady completing five or six straight passes. But, Skip, but here's the thing. Yes, Tom Brady put them in position, but Vinatieri has to be able to make the kick. Okay. okay, Tom, okay. But they're makeable kicks. Okay, but he, he, he didn't make 65 yarders. But 48 yards, Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The bigger the, the, the bigger the game, the bigger the moment, the more pressure's on a kick. Yeah. And we've seen guys miss. LeBron James can make a perfect pass. Remember, Russ said the hardest thing about the triple double is the mm -hmm. assist. He did. Because I can make it easy for you, but I can't make the basket for you. Okay. So LeBron James giving the giving an easy pass to Kyle Corver. 
he missed a shot. Okay. And yet, in LeBron's first year with the Lakers, yes. didn't have this much talent, yeah. but he had some talent yes. around him. And what happened? He went into what's he call it playoff mode where he he activated playoff he mode. He got hurt. Yeah. Well, that was the, the first the, time. That's when he came back and they didn't even make the playoffs. But here's year. the thing, Skip. He got hurt, and that was the first time in his career that he had missed that much time. So you said, I'm going to activate, but he really didn't know how his body was going to respond because his body had never been in that situation okay, before. Okay, so now let's look at the 43-year-old quarterback in his first year away from Bill Belichick in Tampa. In the middle of a pandemic with no preseason and very little practice time, he takes a 7-9 and nine team and a franchise known as the Suckineers was the worst winning percentage in the history of sports as a franchise. And in his first year, against all odds, he flips the culture and, and it installs the Patriot way in Tampa Bay. And all of a sudden, they go win the Super Bowl. That's off the charts greatness. All of a sudden, he goes to 7-3 and three in Super Bowls, and he has established himself as simply the greatest clutch player in the history of sports, and to me, the greatest leader in the history of sports. It's period, end of story, because playing quarterback, as you will attest, is simply the hardest position to play in all of sports. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Tampa defense plays like it plays in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. What top five, top six, top seven quarterback couldn't have done what Tom Brady did? Okay, but they didn't play that way until... They played that way in the playoffs! In the second playoff game. They didn't play that way against little Tyler Heineke, but right? They, they made the plays when they needed... Remember, they picked him off. They were driving, mm -hmm. and he picked him off. They picked him off. Mm -hmm. So I'm just asking, okay, of the top players, mm -hmm. of top seven players, name the guys that could have gone back to Cleveland and taken them to four straight. Steph, I give you Steph, KD, James Harden, whomever you want. Name the ones that could have did what LeBron James did. Hmm. In the Eastern Conference. In the Eastern Conference. Yep. Well, the, the point is, he was in the East, and you know it was a cakewalk every year. It was a done deal he was going to so, get to the finals. Are you, so are you going to have that same energy for KD? Because he's mm -hmm. in the East now. Yep. Unless, unless, unless we, we, we flip the map upside mm -hmm. down, and now the East is the West, and the West mm -hmm. is the East. So are you going to say there's a cakewalk? Mm. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, I, that's what you said. You said the East is a cakewalk. Uh, that's what you just told me. Okay, look at who he got to beat up on. The baby dinosaurs in Toronto. Whoa. Remember those teams? The team that won the championship? Remember Paul George's or George Paul's Indiana? That's who he got to beat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Okay, all of a sudden, we have a serious contender with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, coached by Doc Rivers in Philadelphia. Yeah. Milwaukee looks better than it's ever looked. It looks like Giannis is starting to figure it out and starting what about Chicago? to grow up. Did you, did your D-Rose win the championship? Mm -hmm. They had D-Rose, they had Noah, defensive player of the year, Taj Gibson. They were pretty good. Yeah, and when, what happened? Yeah. Skip, okay, okay I want to know of the top players, name the one that could have taken Drew Gooden, Larry Hu, Ilgoskas, Snow, and Pavlovic to an NBA Finals, even in the East. Name the player. No, Other than Goat James. Pretty good, and then he got swept. I get I guess a team that had Tim Duncan, the greatest power forward to ever live, Tim, uh, uh, Tony Parker, a finals MVP. He's, you said he was the best player on the planet. Couldn't win a game. No. Couldn't even sniff no. a game. Kind of like Jordan when he got swept uh, by, by, by Boston. He couldn't win a game. Yeah, but he scored 63. He could, well, no, so now we, could, now we Hold on. LeBron James averaged 36, 13, and 9, mm -hmm. and he lost to Golden State. And you talk about if you're the best player, you got to win that. Well, if Michael Jordan mm -hmm. was the best player, he can't get swept. Mm -hmm. He got swept twice. Mm -hmm. He got swept twice. Yep. His first three playoff games, he won one game. Well, he got swept after he came off a broken foot that kept him out the whole okay, year. Okay, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? But you didn't say that about LeBron when he hurt his groin and missed mm -hmm. the playoffs. But he, missed, but he made the playoffs mm -hmm. with a losing record. Mm -hmm. And you commend that. You mm -hmm. see, we got to be careful now. Mm -hmm. I remember when Devin Booker scored 70 in the loss. You're like, what are you holding up 70 for? You lost the game. Mm -hmm. We still heap praise. We say the 63-point game is the greatest game ever played. Mm -hmm. And Jordan lost. Mm -hmm. Since LeBron James has been in the NBA in the last 10 seconds of late and close games, no one has missed more free throws or more field goals than LeBron James. He is not clutch. Oh, okay. Brady is the essence of clutch. Oh. LeBron has no clutch gene. In it's the final, been proven again and again and again. In, in the final minutes of a ball game, <laughs> in the last 25 season, only one player has more shot mm. to tie or take the lead of a ball game. Yeah, That's Kobe Bryant. Yep, and he's played 320 more playoff games than Michael Jordan played. Did you realize, Skip, Whew. that 
when Michael, when uh, LeBron James passed Michael Jordan for the all-time leader in playoff points, mm. he did it on 100 and fewer 20, 120 fewer shots. Did you mm. realize that? So how many shots? So over the course of, let's see, LeBron James averages 20 shots a game. Mm. So that's basically six games. Mm. He did it in 120 fewer shots. Mm. I think he, I think just now, uh, LeBron has just passed Michael Jordan with mm. shot attempts, and he's what. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 points ahead of him? Who's the worst late game star free throw shooter you've ever seen? Who the Who's, most Who clutch? has the Achilles heel free throw shooting? Skip. Who's the worst? Skip. It's LeBron. Skip. I'm it's, not, he's I'm disqualified not, from skip. this conversation. I'm not, skip. He's out. I'm not going to I'm not going to even debate that. Mm -hmm. We know what he is. Yep. He's not the greatest free throw nope. shooter. But what Magic said, he's the greatest leader, mm. influential person when it comes to winning in the NBA. Mm. Now, if you want to take it outside the NBA, you took it there. I'm right there with you. Mm. He's the most influential. Well, you, you took it there. I did. Yeah, I did. I, I mean, because I, I was, wanted to go there. I was stunned. Don't be stunned. Yeah. Don't be well here. You want some? You I, hey, bring me some water, so I can get uh, skip out of this stunness. Mm. <laughs> you know good and well, Goat James and what he represents. He's a 34 percent career three point shooter. That is abysmal. If you if you don't mind, you since you over there, you got stats mm -hmm. down. What was Michael Jordan mm -hmm. career three point shooting? They didn't even shoot threes. They did yeah. shoot threes. Mm -hmm. Well, how the hell Reggie Miller had all them threes if they didn't shoot them back then? Nobody cared. Now nobody cared. Yep. Skip, you ought to be ashamed of mm -hmm. yourself. Nobody cared about three. Reggie Miller got down near three thousand, but nobody cared mm -hmm. about him. LeBron was 16th in PER this year. Brady graded third overall last regular season. He, he's even better at 43 than LeBron is at 36. Man, you better hush. Well, he just Skip, is. First of all, you know the wear and tear, what he has to do. See, Tom doesn't have, could, so Tom doesn't have to play defense. Tom does what he does offensively. Mm. Okay, he's off the field. LeBron James don't get that luxury. Mm. LeBron James don't get a luxury and say, okay, I just scored a basket. Let me go to the side like, hey, Kuz, get in there and play defense. Okay, they score down the other Hey, I'm back mm. in, Kuz. He doesn't get to do that. Mm. Not only must he run the offense, he also has to be Ed Reed and play free safety on the back end. Okay. Skip, don't do that. Well, that's how basketball works. Yet yeah, quarterback is harder to play than point guard in basketball. Skip back. It just is. All I know is that when Tom Brady got hurt, what did his team do? Mm. Matt Castle got $60 million because he filled in for Tom. Well, he went and made a Pro Bowl in Kansas City. He was pretty good. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.